Time to get cheesy. Kick it. Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. I know you got tons of choices. Appreciate you coming by. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite novelty record is. Of course, every record collector has like the other section where they have novelty records. For me, the definition of novelty records this time around is going to be pretty much anything besides like serious music. Records, vinyl, records, anything but serious stuff. Every collector seems to have that that pile or that section in their collection that's like, yeah, this is other crap. Uh, of course, I got my Burger King crown. It looks stupid, I know. I'm going to put that there. Oh, yeah, like at Burger King are the onion rings. Everything else kind of sucks. Novelty records behind me are two of my favorites. This one is Great Space Coaster, uh, 80s cartoon. It didn't really age well. Some cartoons you can still watch as an adult. Others kind of, eh, that one's kind of the eh. And uh, Taco Bell, which is my favorite fast food, uh, the uh, album there from uh, Tijuana Band or something like that. Speaking about fast food, one of my favorites is the McDonald's menu song. They printed off, I think, like, I don't know, 8 million of these or something. And in 1989, uh, a guy actually won it. Um, his family, I think, his mom purchased a store and it didn't really end well. Uh, it was great for them to come into a million dollars and then like so many people who win it just they weren't able to hold on or it didn't end well i read about that thanks for starting us off on a sad note brian awesome can't wait the more stuff another one of my favorite novelty records as a kid was the monster mash sesame street had tons this is c is for cookie star wars also has tons this is droid wars I also have the book and record for like movies like The Black Hole, all three of the Star Wars movies. It's yeah, it's a popular series. Speaking about that, of course, the book and record set. Try to keep everything you know in a plastic. This is the uh, three Planet of the Apes movies, or is it four? Planet of the Apes beneath the Planet of the Apes, cheesy favorite of mine of that. Escape from the Planet of the Apes cheesy one there and battle planet of the apes as you may notice there's one missing and of course the king of cheesy and novelty records weird al eat it this uh, it just i mean when beat it came out and then eat it you'd watch mtv way back in the 80s i think around 84 85 and you would hear that intro and sometimes see michael jackson sometimes weird al they were equally just huge songs so that's Eat It. Of course, Weird Al was made big by Dr. Demen Demento. On this one, he has My Bologna. This also has Short People by Randy Newman. Uh, Pencil Neck Geek by Freddie Blassie. King Tut by Steve Martin. Such an awesome song. So this is uh, volume four, the 70s. Dr. Demento. A lot of people were into him. Speaking about Freddie Blassie. Pencil Neck Geek, he was a wrestling, uh, a wrestler and then a manager. Pretty Blassy, I Bite the Songs picture disc. Speaking about wrestling, also uh, I think he was the governor of Minnesota for a while. Jesse the Body Ventura, picture disc of his. Of course, can't go wrestling without Hulk Hogan, the wrestling album two. This has Pile Driver by Coco Beware. Uh, it has uh, Waking Up Alone by Hillbilly Jim. Stand Back by Vince McMahon. I have uh, issue one. Uh, some people consider comedy records, novelty records. I have a whole bunch. Red Fox, Rodney Dangerfield, Joe Pisco. <laughs> but uh, one of my favorite is actually uh, Peter Cook and Mr. Dudley Moore. You know, Arthur. They did Derek and Clive. They pretty much just get drunk off their asses and just talk about stuff. Uh, this came out, let's see, 1976, so yeah, some of the language and things that they were talking about, of course, people would be offended by now, but it's awesome. Charlie Brown, Snoopy Peanuts, they all have tons of great records, of course. Love me some Chuck Brown. Master Puppets, Master Puppets. <laughs> Master. Master. Masters of the Universe, you know, Skeletor, He-Man, all that kind of stuff. This is a picture disc. I picked it up because I had the record of it as well. It's cheesy stuff. I also have like a Spider-Man, Superman, but I think I sold those on eBay. When I was a kid, uh, growing up, I saw the New Zoo Review as one of the cheesy kind of shows that they would do up on TV. 
uh, we're on a time of like H and R puffing stuff and all that. A lot of really a lot of marijuana usage in the people who wrote this stuff because you had to be a little off to, to understand what was going on. But and I work at a zoo now, so I guess that influenced me. As a kid, you always wanted to be on Bozo Grand Prize Game. I never was. Of course, Bozo has lots of records. Growing up in Chicago area, we had WLS. We had Uncle Larry, Larry Lujak, longtime disc jockey in the Chicago area. Him and little Tom used to do animal stories. It was a funny segment on their show. I remember as a little kid uh, waiting to be brought to school and, and listen to animal stories. Chicago area also, of course, we had the Bears. It's the only good team we've ever had. It was like way back in 85. Oh, we're still living in the past, aren't we? The Bears, they suck this year, but they were doing the Super Bowl shuffle. With William Perry, Richard Dent, Michael Singletary, Steve Fuller, Walter Payton, Jim McMahon, Gary Fensick. Oh, it's good times. Good times. We got to enjoy that because uh, who knows when it will happen next. Speaking about sports, my favorite sport, hockey. We got God Bless the Flyers. Whatever you want to listen. You know, you spin this record, you can listen to all the exciting play-by-play -play action highlights and interviews from the 7-3-74 championship season. I don't think I've ever played that. Really, a lot of times when you own novelty records... Are you really playing them a lot? I know I'm not. I mean, I just like to own them, I guess. But more hockey score Whalers. This record here. Again, yeah, it's got like play by plays and stuff like that. You really got to be. You got to be. I mean, I got a lot of great punk, heavy metal, pop, power pop. It, it, I don't know what kind of day it, it'll take me to be like, yeah, I don't want to listen to any of that today. I want to put on the Whalers record. I don't know. Novelty record. Speaking about the Whalers, Songs of the Humpback Whale. It's another great animal album there. Sounds of Animals. Whenever you need to listen to some sweet sounds of animals, you know it. Jungle Odyssey, kind of the same thing. You can listen to Hyena, Crocodile, Lion, all these songs. That's good stuff there. I think it's they incorporate the animal sounds with actual uh, songs. Calls of the Bushveld. Another thing, you know, with animal sounds. I mean, way back when, this was like, holy cow. You can hear, like, a wild animal on a record. It's spinning. One of my favorite things was Showbiz Pizza in the 80s. You had Chuck E. Cheese, some locations. Showbiz Pizza, other locations. Showbiz Pizza had the Rock Fire Band, Rock Fire Explosion. And this features Unchained Malady. It's a hard song to pull off vocally, but uh, the bear pulls it off. <laughs> Billy Bob the Bear, I think was his name. And uh, Light My Fire they do. Oh, come on. They do a lot of Beatles songs. This is just good stuff. Showbiz Pizza. The pizza was awesome. Of course, you came home from Showbiz. You play your Atari 2600. I have Yard's Revenge on a 45. I might put this on eBay because I'm just I have to get rid of some of my 45s. I just have too I have too much crap with everything. And 12 inch got asteroids. I do have Yard's Revenge on 12 inch. It's hanging up, so I'm not showing that. Missile Command. It's kind of these are kind of cool. If you come by them, they're check them out. They're they're kind of cool. They're cheesy but cool. And the last one I'll show you today. Keep this video short. Is Dr Pepper, my favorite drink. And these are just I believe it's like. Uh, Groups playing songs about Dr. Pepper? I don't really know. Um, the Sounds of 1977. What a year. I was six. Um, so, yeah, it's like album, uh, free ads, outdoor ads, indoor ads. I don't even know what this is. Let's spin it and find out. Ah, novelty records. Thanks for watching. You rule.